I would like to know what is your next project and a big question what inspires you on any given day any given day depends on that day but I get inspiration a lot one of my one of my issues is I don't have any restraint you know so ideas flow and things come and it's hard to contain them sometimes I get an idea I'll write in a book it'll be a fleeting moment and other things are obsessions that are in my head for a long time and I have to get them out and exercise them and way, my way of doing that is through photography and once I get that picture made I can release it and so, whether it be a fear or a fantasy Somebody would like to know if you had to pick a late celebrity that you never had the chance to photograph who would it be and why and somebody else asked a, a figure from history now I'm guessing Michelangelo is on that well, list Well nothing would stop me from I'll still do a portrait of Michelangelo if I want to hmm. You know, I think I think photography is a representation, and representation can is just is, is image, and an image can be recreated. And if I want to photograph a person from history, and I have photographed people who are no longer alive, and recreated them, and through any means necessary, and. So that won't stop me. I'm doing a series now on Walt Whitman, who's been dead a really long time. He's a poet, and he wrote, wrote a great book, Leaves of Grass. And um, I'm doing a series of pictures on young Walt Whitman. Doing a series in Paradise, which is a met metaphor for enlightenment. I'm trying to get out of the studio and force myself to work within nature, using that as a backdrop. Incorporating people and, 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 and glamour and all the things that I love that entice me, but also to tell the story. Yeah. Have Great. you ever taken a photo of swans? Yes. <laughs> okay, there we go. That's, that's as simple as that. I have. In my first book, uh, Lash Pearl Lamp, you can see the photographs of swans and they're flying in the air. David, the I have a quick question if you don't mind. Um, you know how you said your uncle is a priest? Yeah. Um, does he think of you as a kind of prophet almost or a Nostradamus because you. You seem to have predicted, you know, the Wall Street crash and K Katrina and... No, he doesn't think of me in that way at all. Uh, I'm not close to him at all. Do your friends think of you in that way? I've heard that. I know that I'm very intuitive and I think we all are. I think we all have that intuitiveness within us. We just have to get quiet. In this world right now, there's so much noise televisions and so much distraction that a lot of times we don't spend enough time quiet. Mm. I recommend if you're lost, if you're thinking what to do as an artist or a photographer, to get quiet. For me it's nature. I go to nature and I can sort everything out. You can't force ideas or you cannot force inspiration. It just comes. You know, and carry a book around. They make drawings, make sketches, but do what excites you the most, what you feel that, that the world needs to see that hasn't seen. Whatever it is, you know, that's 
And we also have to make livings too, so also my advice to photographers would be diverse. I mean, I shot weddings when I was starting out, and I shot child photography, and I did still lives of desserts and nutty shit, you know, anything I could do. And it taught me, I was never too above doing anything. Um, and then when I became successful, I used all the money I made. A lot of it I put right back into my art, put it into that film Rise, a documentary I did. And so I'm not above doing anything, but I think diversity was what kept me uh, going because I did portraits and I did landscapes and I did put people in landscapes. So Traveler Magazine kind of has Traveler liked me for that when I was very young and I tried to make everyone look good and I did fashion pictures and then I did art gallery stuff that was nothing to do with it because I was just interested or excited about an idea. So, you know, diversity for me kept me, you know, unless you want to, if you're young and you're, you're broke, and, and, you know, you can always wait tables too and there's something valid in that too because, you know, you're doing that and then you know you're not going to do it forever and it forces you to really make it, make it work in photography. So, but my choice was just to diversify, not say no to anything, and just do any job that came along. And, you know, of course, eventually I didn't have to do weddings anymore, thank God. I mean, talk about a nightmare. Somebody would like to know why you, didn't, why you didn't kick Courtney Love during that video. Oh, she's lovely. She's a good friend of mine. She no, just Madonna thought, was the one. Well, she was freaked out. Yeah. She had... Uh, well, I can understand. So this guy walked out. She thought she was doing the nativity holding a baby. She thought you planned Playing this. the Virgin Mary. And she's playing Mother Mary holding Jesus. And nothing was planned. But why was he blonde and not brunette when Because he I showed right Jesus. before that, I showed you why. I yeah. shot two weeks before Kanye West as black Jesus. Yeah. And so I wanted to do Anglo Jesus yeah. To, yeah. because, you know, we're all children of God. And we come in all different colors and mm -hmm. to show the equality. Uh, that Jesus isn't owned by one race or one religion. Now, the fundamentalists don't own it, you know? They don't own Jesus, even though they've made him really uncool and ruined it for a lot of people, or the Catholics, or anyone else. You know, Jesus' teachings are for everyone. Jesus was an artist, and his art was love, poetry. So I was trying to show that um, through... So I wanted Anglo Jesus. After shooting Kanye West, who's black, I wanted to shoot Anglo Jesus. So we died my friend Walker's here blonde. And he walked out on set and Courtney was like, wait a minute, because it was very stunning. We're, we all saw it. Mm. Oh my God, it's Kurt and Courtney. We didn't realize, I didn't think Walker looked anything like Kurt. But then when he was laying there, he did. And it was okay, because we, we, I love Kurt, and Courtney loves Kurt. And maybe Kurt wanted to be in the fucking fire. <laughs> you know, maybe he showed up in some weird way. I'm going to end with uh, Trish W78's question, which is, what is the one piece of advice you pass on I just passed on a lot of advice just now. You did? Yeah. So listen, my piece did. of advice is to listen to the advice I just passed on. <laughs> Brilliant. David, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate your time. Just have fun thank too. You. Do what you love. Follow your heart. You know, that's number one. Brilliant. And you'll always be successful.